Hello everyone, this is Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a function I just learned about which is called trim mean. Sounds a bit ominous, doesn't it? Um, in essence, what uh, we all know that mean is basically the average of a set of numbers. Trim mean allows you to eliminate the outliers by indicating a percentage of the uh, range of numbers that you want to exclude from your mean or your average. So let's see how it works. Here we have a list of 20 numbers and if we did a simple average on those numbers you would see that the average of these 20 is going to work out to be 145.65 but just glancing at it you can see the top two are very low, the bottom two are very high, and those are distorting the overall average of your numbers. So if we just want to see what the average is um, without the, the outliers, just visually we can tell that there is those four oddities, you can see the average of the main group is 56.9, which is significantly different from the average of all 20. But let's say you don't know exactly uh, the, the amount that you or the specific numbers you want to exclude but you know that there's about 10 percent or 20 percent that are odd numbers and you just want to get the average or the mean of the balance of that you can use the function from Excel called trim mean and you can see that it returns the mean of the interior portion of a set of data values so in setting that up you would again pick your array which would be the entire list of numbers and then you would decide what percent. In this case, just to ensure that it's working properly, we're going to put in 20% because we know that that's the bottom two and top two of the 20 numbers we have. And uh, it works out to be exactly the same as if we manually excluded those uh, two number ones and two one thousands, uh, which we knew were the outliers. Uh, you can adjust that to any percentage you'd like. 10% uh, uh, would just eliminate 1 and 1,000, and you can see the average of those is uh, 10622, which is the number we got. So uh, it takes the percentage and eliminates um, a portion of that from the bottom and a portion of that from the top of your whole list and returns the average of the balance. Ah, so very good. I hope you find that useful. Uh, I think it would be in many occasions where you have a large list of numbers and you just want to get rid of those outliers to get the average or the mean of the bulk of those. So uh, glad you liked it. Hope you'd like to see more. And if you do, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and feel free to subscribe to my blog. Happy excelling.